Hello, I'm Kenny Ferguson. And I'm Ben Vincent. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Red, Red and Gold, Gold Show. Show. An announcement for all Right to Life members. Your permission slips are due to Miss McCollin no later than Friday morning if you wish to attend the live chain held downtown this Sunday. The College Mount St. Joseph is looking for the most clever and least conventional self-portraits created with anything but the expected. First prize wins a $150 Visa gift card. For more information, just go to www.msj.edu slash art contest. All student ambassadors are asked to meet in the cafeteria immediately after school on Friday to receive your committee assignments for the year. Members will also help move tables and chairs up to the gym for the 1950s through 60s class reunion. Robert Tandy and Christian Hedrick are going to give us a random fact on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Here's today's random fact. Did you know astronauts get taller while they're in space? Tandy man, I think we're actually getting taller. Whoa! Whoa. Hi, Mom! And today's lunch is chicken rings, and tomorrow's is pizza. Susina is still in need of volunteers on October 6th at 6 in the gym to help set up for the evening of sharing dinner. There will be flu shots given on September 30th in room 217 during the school day. All students must have a signed consent form in order to get the shot. Forms will be available in the office. The cost is $26. Reporters Harry Mowry and Zach Chumley have an inside look on sports injuries at Susina. These injuries range from dislocated fingers to broken elbows. Now let's see the sports injury report. As you may have noticed, there has been a lot of injury setbacks occurring for a lot of fall sports teams. Senior Neely Marks talks about her injury and plan to recover. Alright, I uh, dislocated my pinky. It was last Friday and uh, I was blocking Aaron's ball and it just hit and dislocated down and over. I had to miss a t the next day I had a tournament. I couldn't play in it. But we have a game tonight, and I'm going to play in it. I've had two different braces, and just moving it around helps. Senior Ben Dugan has recently been injured twice. Here's his thoughts. Well, um, I sprained my MCL on Friday against Roncalli. And then practicing this week for lapel, I broke my nose. And I plan to keep playing with it, but I have to go see if the doctor's going to let me or if I have to have surgery. Senior Dick Branson talks about his injuries. I, I uh, dislocated my elbow week two for Speedway. I was running the football and uh, started to fall down, so I planted my arm down, and a linebacker came in and fell on top of me, dislocated my elbow, went to the hospital that night, and, uh, got it put back in place. Right now I'm doing therapy for about a month and a half. Uh, to get my range of motion back, but my recovery is probably going to be a long time. Probably won't play football ever again, so that was my last game I'll ever play for Speedway. Freshman girls volleyball won three games against Southport last night. Tonight is senior night for volleyball, so come and support your senior girls as they take on Garen Catholic. Congratulations to the girls' soccer team. They won their first game last night 3-1 against Beach Grove. All of the girls played very well. Bailey Schramm had two goals. And the varsity football team plays Chittard at Manual tomorrow night. The theme for the game is tie-dye, so, so make sure you all dress up and get your class spirit out. And also, Rob Tandy and Christian Hedrick will be there conducting their poll. That's today's news. I'm Kenny Kicks. And I'm Biddy Sant. Keep, Keep it fresh. fresh.